What is good? The Ongo La Familia, we is back. Another video, we back in the garage. I'm gonna insert a clip here right now just to show you guys that I do take this car out of the garage. <laughs> It's just been the winter, so I've been trying to do all my upgrades, all the things that I want for this uh, year's uh, drift season, even though I'm not doing like the whole season. As you can tell by the title of the video, basically doing an angle kit for the car. That angle kit is just cut and extended lower control arms and cut knuckles. I'm not the most knowledge person on this. I've never taken my knuckle or whatever you want to call that thing off. I've seen some videos, a lot of this is just gonna be unbolting basically like everything. And then I believe you can run stock E36 tie rods. I didn't buy any tie rods because the tie rods I wanted were out of stock, which were the Denova tie rods. So Chelsea Denova, if you end up clicking this, send me some tie rods, bro. So yeah, I gotta take the wheel off and then, and then I got this. I got this from O'Reilly's just cause this is gonna help whenever I'm separating the ball joints. I know you can hammer it, but I feel like this is just better. And then this is a bushing press kit because I got these Condor uh, lollipop bushings that are offset. They're supposed to give you more caster. And um, yeah, we're gonna press these in. I don't know how important those are. I just heard of people doing it. Um, and I know they came like that in the M3s. So honestly, I don't know. I don't know if I should have got the centered ones, but I got the offset ones. Anyways, let's get started on this. This amount of angle that I'm getting. My next step now is removing this here. Oh my goodness, it's so dark. This right here is a little ball joint. That right there, we're gonna have to loosen that nut. And then we're gonna have to use the pickle fork right there. to do was pull on the top part um, and it comes off. Let's fucking go! kind of died so all we have is the forehead light in order for you to get this thing out which is your last bolt holding on your lower control arm it's like so hidden back there and you can't fit anything and what i'm doing is i wish i could show you because it's so dark under there but i literally am putting my ratchet inside of there and then i'm coming on this side and i'm using this hook side of the and then the ratchet is sitting in there like this and then i come on this side and I have my hammer and I'm literally just pulling it to turn the ratchet. All right guys, and finally I got the hub. I'm still gonna take the, um, the rotor off and I got the arm out. So then now I'm just gonna repeat the process to the other side. Then we'll get these extended and cut. All right guys, so I got my knuckles all separated. The guy that's doing these for me told me that to not worry about taking off the shields because he actually cuts them. He said he has to actually cut them off to weld in the back of the knuckle. So I guess you don't really have to take this bearing piece off unless you want to go ahead and replace your bearing while you're doing this. And I got my control arms off and this is the main one that was toast. That thing is gone, but we're not using these. I have a fresh set of Lem Ford ones. I don't know if that's the actual bushing up, that's a little cover, but they look sick. They look dope. These are like 
180 bucks, not 190 bucks on um, FCP Euro. FCP Euro, you guys should sponsor me. Anyways, yeah, my bushings were shot, so I got a new one. So I'm going to take these. He's going to cut and extend them. The sun is literally down. I spent the whole day um, getting these. Here's a knuckle. Yeah, it gets cut and then shortened, obviously. Here are the arms. And then there is where they got extended two inches. And then it was also brought to my attention that I need to buy E34 outer tie rods or E90 inner tie rods. So whichever one you prefer, get them. Because you can run E34 outer tie rod with the E36 inner. Or you can run E90 inners with the E36 outers. And I just need to get these uh, bushings out of these lollipops and throw these in. Nice! What you can do a little trick with poly is throw it in your freezer. They actually shrink them a little bit and make it slide into your, it makes it slide into it a little bit easier. So we're gonna be cutting this out. I'm gonna show you guys how I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do it with a jigsaw with a metal blade on it. And I like to make two cuts and then I'll just hammer away and it'll slide right out. So I watched the video and this guy took this and put it in soapy water and then slid it in there I did not mean to spill all that so There you have it. It's a slow process, but you can beat the shit out of it and it'll come out I mean it'll go in and right, I got both lollipops on Something that I just found out. So it's recommended that you put a set screw in this. The best method for doing it is before you press on your bushing, but I already pressed mine on. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna drill into it and then put a self tapper. Do I think that's the best method? No. Now for the center bolt here, you have to use a jack to make sure you like press it all the way up there and then use your 22 back here and tighten in that bolt. Everybody, oh shit. Look what has showed up. Always a good day when you get a package from these guys. I've been craving those uh, gummy bears. So the tie rod boot, second tie rod boot, two tie rods, and then two little sway bar links. I never had sway bar links in this car. It always made a funny sound. Things would rattle and they always scared me. Something was loose and I'm hoping that it's just my front sway bar that was like never connected to anything. Did they put the gummy bears in here? Bruh, no gummy bears, bruh. Not chill at all. I got that bolt in. We got that bolt in. Got the top bolt in. We're good. Knuckles installed. The wheel is way more forward on this side than on this side. The only option that I can think of right now is for me to buy adjustable lollipops from SLR. And that's what I might do, but that would definitely be in a different video, especially because maybe one of you guys can comment down below 
what could be causing this. That's it for this video. If you guys have any suggestions what could help me out with that caster thing, you guys know what to do. Leave a like if you guys enjoyed this one. If you guys don't want to miss out on any of my top tier videos, you know, hit that little red button, hit that little bell. I'm gonna catch you guys in the next one. Peace. She still love me anyways Different fabrics every day Different fashion, different tastes I put diamonds in her face Baby, I forgot, what did you say? I bet you won't trust